All right, before you watch my this video, I just want to make it very clear, a couple of things. Number one is, uh, please do not use my video to promote hate against the transgender community, the LGBTQ, gay, homosexual, transgender, non-binary, whatever. They are different from most of us, okay? Be straight individuals or lesbians or gay, you know, especially transgender. Don't hate on them. And if you identify or you know somebody who is one, please don't attack them. This video is not about hating them or uh, causing harm to them. Rather, this video is about me sharing my views on activists, on activists who shove down their theories about life and especially target small children, okay? So I want to make it very clear, mine is not a hate video. It should not be taken out of context. And I will be giving my opinion, my opinion on this particular activist. And it can even sometimes focus on looks. Me, myself, I don't look perfect. And people talk about my looks. They say I look like uh, someone drew something on my face. I look like Spider-Man. I look abnormal. I perfectly accept it, okay? I'm not going to feel, oh, he called me ugly and all. No, no, I'm not going to. So this video is meant for adults with an open mind and who are able to evaluate both sides of the argument. So please don't use my video to promote hate and don't attack anyone who is transgender or who is going through uh, a phase in their life where they need support. So I want to make it very clear. Last but not the least, remember, each one of us has an opinion. And we should be able to state our opinion without hurting and harming anyone. But if words hurt you, words, or someone's opinion hurts you, then that problem is yours. Please don't watch my video if you are so hypersensitive. Having said that, please watch my video and let me know what you think. And uh, yes, remember, the purpose of my video is to attack ideas, ideas and concepts that specially target children. Okay, I hope that is clear. Good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Go ahead and watch the video. Hi there, Loy Macedo. It's me and you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. Today, I'm going to speak about an uh, individual whom I don't think I've spoken about in any of my videos, maybe just passing by uh, in a very small way. Now, and I'll tell you why I'm speaking about him. You can Google search this guy's name. Uh, who is he? Alok, A-L-O-K-V-A-I-D Menon. He's an I don't know, Indian origin, I don't know what is he, but he has a very Indian name. He looks Indian. But if you Google search, you'll find out that this guy is, uh, you know, they have this gender fluid, non-binary, all this hi-fi uh, category of LGBTQ plus and all the alphabets and numbers after that. So he is one of those. Now, I personally don't have a problem if you are an adult and you identify as male, female, alien, whatever you want to identify as an adult, perfectly okay. But when, the minute you become an activist, that becomes a major issue. And I don't have a problem only with this LGBTQ plus activists. I have a problem with any kind of activists, like the femi-nazi, as you call the feminist activists. Then you have the Me Too activists, the Black Lives Matter activists. Uh, you have, uh, what is that, uh, that uh, that female for climate change, uh, Greta Thunberg activism. Uh, and now you have this LGBTQ plus, all the alphabet activists. Okay. Now, why I have a problem with this particular character is not only because the person's famous or whatever, or the person looks, I'm giving my opinion, looks horrible, absolutely I don't know what, I don't know which part 
you know, I'm sorry to say, but if you were to give a chimpanzee or someone from the planet of apes, if you were to put a little bit of makeup and uh, put jewelry, how they would look a monkey. If you, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, see, if you, if people say, "Loy, you look like uh, uh, Spider Man with all these stripes," or you look like someone uh, drew something on your face and you look like an alien or ugly, I accept it. Fine, you are right. I look like someone just drew Spider Man on my face. My baby also sometimes says Spider Man. Okay. And if people say you look ugly, you're bald, you look like uh, your head looks like uh, the shape of a penis. Yes, the rock also and I also and all the bald guys look like that. So I don't take it personally. You can name call me for all you like. I find it funny sometimes. Okay. So but the problem with this guy is he's hairy all over. He has hair like gorilla. As it is, I don't find like hair in the right places and in the right amount. But when you have too much of hair from here, hair everywhere, uh, yeah. Okay, that is one. On top of that, he wears a sexy looking dress. On top of that, he wears colorful hair. On top of that, he's not even in shape. Round is a shape. But he's like, uh, doesn't do any exercise. Then he has so, you know, he can he actually comb his underarm hair like this. Okay. So for me, he's like, yeah. okay, it, 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 I'm sorry, but maybe you like him. I don't like him. Okay. So now this guy, is he comes up with these gems of wisdom, which I find even more unbearable. Which is even more unbearable than he is. According to him, he says, you know, gender, right? male and female, male, female. Okay. According to him, it is the number of genders are as many, see, male and female, two genders, right? But according to him, the number of genders are as many as people on the planet. That means there are more than, how many, six billion people on the planet. There are six billion genders, according to him. That's, that's what he's saying. Because if you see this article by Daily Mail Online, ABC gives platform to controversial non-binary activists. These terms, uh, sometimes I wonder, give me a headache. They say there are as many genders as there are people and anyone can determine they are, what they are. So you can be a male, you can be female, you can be they, them, zim, zer, oink, fart, uh, bah, boo, blah, anything. All, all this, you can be all this. Oh, you feel like a female today, you're a female. Oh, you feel like a male today, you're a male. You feel a like two-in-one, three-in-one, you can be that also. I don't understand what is this. It's like suddenly we come in the morning. Today I'm a female. Yes. Oh, hi, I'm female. Then suddenly I wake up. Okay. Then why don't we become like, oh, I feel like an elephant. I feel like an elephant. Why? We can't be that. We can't become an elephant. Oh, I feel like a cell phone. I'm a cell phone. You know, you have even these people who feel like, uh, they say, I'm a baby. Grown grown people say, I'm a baby. And they wear diapers and they uh, put a, like a, you know, that sudor in their mouth. And th this is, this is a mental problem. This is not something to be celebrated. And these people need mental care. But what is happening is they're being championed by other people who feel just like them. See, what he says in this article by Daily Mail Online, a controversial non-binary has claimed, uh, okay, choose your own gender. Alok Wade Menon, who uses they, them pronoun. So if you call, it's not him. He's, he is they, them. The grammar also goes out of the window. As it is, my grammar is not good. He'll make it even worse. Okay. Appeared on ABC this week to push their views on gender ideology to promote of their speaking tour in Australia and New Zealand. When asked if they could see a world without gender, the 31-year-old performer said, I see a world without gender binary. The gender binary refers to an idea where there are two genders, male and female. Okay, nice hairy photograph of his. Explaining his theory, content, there are as many genders as there are people. A lot of people mistake what I'm trying to do is erase their right to be a man or woman, when in fact I'm championing for it. Yeah, you can have nice word selection. What I'm championing is that for each person gets to determine his own gender. Wade Menon, 
who has been on a publicity blitz across Australia in recent weeks, appearing on several current affairs program and in various publications. Okay, the queer, trans, feminine comedian, male, female, this is queer, queer, how do you pronounce it? Queer, queer, trans, <sighs> okay, comedian recently criticized male comics, claiming that there are masquerading their misogyny as comedy. Some nice words peppered here and there and you can put phobia and all that and then it becomes a statement. Okay. Wade Menon made a bold statement while promoting their own comedy tour and project this week. I think it's time we protect jokes from men in pants. Yeah. Gone are the days where you could make a joke, make fun of someone. Like people make fun of me all the time. Well, very good. I'm a grown ass man. I don't mind. But if you make a joke on them, oh, you're transphobic. I just started to watch some of his comedy stuff and it feels like they're trying to masquerade misogyny as comedy. Looking at you, I... Seriously, just imagine an individual like this being shown to young boys and girls and we try to normalize this. You can be a boy, you can be a girl, you can be a man, you can be women. In fact, just have a look at uh, What is a Woman, that uh, movie by, a documentary by Ben, uh, what, Matt Walsh. They are even bringing strippers, you know, strippers, no? Females, uh, uh, in front of children, in the gay, these activists, these uh, parades that they have, LGBTQ parades, they have men who will only put a, a cloth, a, like a socks on their penis. They'll only cover that part. Just everything is naked and they are walking in front of small children. They do all this sexual acts and all this in front of children. And then what disturbs me even more than this is when they make these children dress up in colorful this thing and they say, um, you choose your gender. Do you know how dangerous that is? You're playing with the mind of a small child. Do you know how dangerous that is? And then uh, in that same documentary, they even have. Uh, uh, where the small kids are coming up on stage, these parents who are mentally challenged, they are telling the child to actually say, a boy to say, uh, I am, I identify myself neither male nor female. Just imagine a small boy. Wouldn't you feel there's something wrong? Shouldn't you feel? And they consider this normal. Or you can call the child they, them, zem, zer. So I had to enter this ring and show people it's not funny to make uh, fun of trans people for existing. What's funny is how much time, energy and money you put into making up the gender binary. Yeah, I can imagine how much money you spend dressing up like that. Wade Menon said they also want to show the world how funny transgender people really are. Well, I'm pretty sure they must be funny. I also feel like right now people only define trans as hypersensitive, like we can't take a joke, like we are all... Kermud, Kermud, only social justice. Uh, very high five words, yeah. C U R Kermud, M U D C U R Kermud, Kermud, G O N E L I. I'm going to figure out how to pronounce this word afterwards. C U R M U D G E O N L Y. Please tell me how do you pronounce it? Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, when in my experience, when you spend your entire life being the butt of a joke. You learn how to tell a good joke. Well, see, over here, let's be fair. If you have been bullied throughout your life, people have made fun of you throughout your life, it does hurt. Okay? I'm not trying to say that it doesn't. But then, come on, man. That doesn't mean just because you're bullied, now you come out with this nonsense and you expect every, every Tom, Dick and Harry to accept as normal. I wanted to show people we're capable of joy that actually amidst all this discrimination and violence, there is so much fun to be had. That I agree. These generic statements are fair, are fine. But that doesn't justify what you're trying to do and your agenda. MX, see the fun, huh? He's not Mr. Wade. He's not Miss Wade. He's MX. MX, Wade Menon said, that their diverse comedy show will feature harrowing stories about how they were the victim of anti-gay hate crime in Melbourne six years ago. I'm totally against the violence, which I've made it very clear in the beginning of my video. 
we should not hate transgender we should not attack them we should not uh, what do you say make uh, you know bully them and you know hurt them as it is they need support but at the same time the minute you take on the role of being an activist and you attack others don't expect to be left scot free okay wade men and plans to address they are attackers on stage as a part of their healing journey yeah you need a lot of healing that is correct they also want to feature some upbeat moments mixed with sorrow during their performance do whatever you want during your performance that's fine i try to weave in poetry and comedy sorrow and joy because it's not binary it's honest they explained he explained but they explained when asked what fans can expect from his comedy tour it said they are comedy tour see what happens with the drama in my show i wanted to be honest that we live as humans we are far more enormous enormous and tremendous than any binary allows us yeah whatever and you can see his lovely photographs hmm. this week wade menon told the sydney morning herald that a lot of famous comics have been peddling transphobia oh another phobia like like a uh, you have phobia of spiders and these phobias by the way they are just invented by these people these phobias never existed nobody is afraid of them phobia is fear nobody fears them we are just we look at them and like what the hell is this last year dave chapel caused controversy after his netflix special <coughs> the closer featured jokes aimed at the transgender community yeah there are very exclusive community where you can't joke at all Uh, you you know the problem is if if it was a community that was suffering and enduring pain people would support them but when you come and attack other people and you force them to say what you want and address them with the pronouns that they want and if you don't they start making a big noise and who's going to keep quiet man many students at his alma mater duke ellington school of arts in washington did not take kindly to this line of humor and told the comedian as much during the heated q and a at the school in november okay nowadays today's generation very woke they get offended very easily chapel said the pushback sincerely hurt him but has not apologized for his remarks at the expense of transgender people no you should not apologize at the time netflix and by the way they try to cancel dave chapel they try to cancel um, joe rogan now they have come back even stronger even more famous even more popular so all the best to you whatever activists at the time netflix reportedly held a virtual event hosted by wade menon to address the impact of chapel's comedy was having on the transgender community wade menon is known for his famous circle of friends for helping many celebrities come to terms with their own gender yeah a lot of gender a lot of uh, celebrities have mental issues that need help if you identify tomorrow as a refrigerator doesn't mean we actually champion you and yeah you are a refrigerator no there's something wrong with you man you need help they supported demi lovato and sam smith when singers came out as non binary and switched their non binary pronouns yeah whatever you want to be called we should agree right however since last year lovato has shifted back to she her pronouns because she has been feeling more feminine lately no she shifted back because she realized it's not working out people are not going to make you more famous for this that's why she shifted back mx how do you pronounce this man instead of mr wade or miss it's mx wade like they have uh, joe biden has appointed a latinx what the hell is a latinx man mr wade's career has been on fire in recent years Not only does the performance artist now boast of 1 million followers on Instagram he has also published several books and will soon appear in a star studded sci-fi blockbuster Absolute Dominion Look I'm telling you again I don't have a problem with his fame have 1 billion followers just spare the children please don't influence them If you're an adult do whatever the hell you want but don't target children and that is something I I I find it very hard to keep quiet about. So just just look at his photographs. If you see his photographs, you'll seriously just imagine if a guy like this went to India, went to Pakistan, went to a Muslim country, or went to a conservative Christian country. I mean, I'm an atheist. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of open-ended thinking, 
Oh, what is this? Despite their swollen, like for example, someone sees my tattoo, they'll say, what the hell is this? I totally understand. I would never ever tell youngsters, this is normal. I would never ever tell them that get your face tattooed, no, express yourself, no. Until you're a bloody adult, zip it. Study, focus, get your shit together. Once you're an adult, then do whatever you want. That's what I tell children. I get so many Muslims, Christians, Hindus asking me, oh, I want to do this, I want to tattoo my this and that, I want to break free. I said, no, until the age of 30. Stand on your own two feet, be an adult, be a man or woman, then do what you want. But these kind of people, they focus on children, man. Children who are not even uh, independent. And then they are cutting off their breasts, cutting off parts of their body. They are encouraging this. Despite their soaring popularity, Wade has been a subject of criticism from conservative media figures, including transgender YouTube Blair White, who has singled out the star in a series of videos on YouTube. Hmm. See, being a transgender is not wrong, okay? Being transgender is not wrong. It's your life. It's your personal preference. And whatever you wish to do with your body, go ahead. But please don't, don't shove this poison and normalize it, especially for children, especially for youngsters. There are a lot of girls, a lot of boys who are so confused in their lives. Please don't shove your horrible, terrible agenda on them and feel, yay, we are doing something good. We are not doing something good. We live in a very disturbing times, I'll tell you that, where they normalize even being a pedophile and say, that person loves small people. What small people, man? It's, it's like that uh, in US, which is supposed to be an educated place, they had a male guy identify who identified himself as a female and they put him in a female prison. He ended up making the other prisoners, uh, female prisoners pregnant. Oh, trans, trans, what? Trans female has made females pregnant. Yeah, because he's a bloody man. He has a sausage. Pair of balls, sperm, a female with a vagina, you know, when you put that inside, simple science, man. Oh, how did she become pregnant? She's a female and she's a trans female. Ayayo. Ayayo is South Indian, my people. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. What do you think, right or wrong? And like I said, please don't hate on these these communities, please don't hate on these individuals. They are who they are. But please, don't keep quiet when they start targeting children and normalizing this behavior. That I cannot stand. And yes, activists, I just can't tolerate you guys. Having said that, good, bad, ugly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And what do you think of this wonderful, great, I don't know what to say. Anyway, this is me signing off. You guys take care.